Hey Stampers, Gaylor again and I'm coming back with this beautiful card. I did just do a video on this and this is the one I made on camera only to find out that I hadn't plugged the sound in. <laughs> so I'm going to do a, a, a scaled down version. I'll show you how I made it and I've got, I'm going to do an A this size card. So. I have run this through the big shot. Uh, I just wondered if it's all going to come out. Yeah, yay! And I've also run my love heart. One of them. I've got to do the two small ones now. I just need to get a piece of paper out. These papers were given to me uh, last year, I think. This, and I put them in the drawer with my other DSP, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. And I can't remember the lady's name who gave them to me for loving the money so if you recognize these gorgeous papers please leave me a comment down below and say who it was you find oh will i get two love arts out of them because i don't want to waste more than i have to yes i'm going to get them two love arts out of there yay <laughs> this paper down a little bit for me to keep it on there so it'll be a quicker version and a little bit downscaled because any more six uh, 12 by 12 white cardstock left perfect so I've got my little love arts now how fabulous do not have to dig deep these are quite thick dies they're from uh, crafters companion I got them with my Gemini junior These are from Stampin' Up and they are rectangle dies. These ones. Gorgeous collection of papers though, absolutely stunning. I wanted something nice and bright and cheerful. So, put my little dye machine away. Got my embossing folder which is the ornate florals and I'm just gonna pass that through there it will take me seconds perfect love this this beautiful embossing folder is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that pattern, stunning. Yeah, these papers, absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. Lily of the Valley, Wit Knit Wit Collections by Mary Fran. So, I have other bits, some, oh, look, I'm right on top of them. I would, uh, if that had been a vicious dog, it'd bit me. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have sound. So I'm just using it on a standard card base to see if I can get it to look right with this. So I haven't got any other, more of the dark left. I've used it all up, I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would have that color again. So there's a paler version at the back of those papers. So this is... Those ones. Give myself a nice little border all the way around, keeping that nice and straight. This piece is two inches by three and seven eighths, as you can see, it's the same width. And I'm just going to grab some double sided tape just to put up the top 
for me to wrap around my linen thread. Finish, get make sure all the air bubbles are out. Perfect. I love this linen thread. Oh, it's so cute. So I'm just gonna pop about a quarter of an inch down. Wrap that around and then I can snip off. Perfect. Don't like to waste it. So that's where our banner's gonna go. And then this is gonna get glued on there now. Yeah, I was devastated. I took the picture and my computer was making sound giving me the bleeps you know when you and I thought oh my goodness I've checked that I'll have to check the video I checked the video no sound <laughs> so here I am again <laughs> so I've got this gorgeous one and one eighth by one and one eighth scalloped square punch and this was given to me by the lovely Nina Tanner so this piece now is going to get glued just under there that's how it goes on the card. I've kept everything the same size except for the DSP obviously because I've got no more six, uh, 12 by 12 card. I'm just gonna let's make sure that's level. Oh that's beautiful. Just give that a little massage. Yeah and so I've cut six of these gorgeous scallop squares out and now all I'm going to do now is cut either side because there's eight uh, bumps either side so I just cut it at four and that's how I get that shape and we're just going to give it a tiny little curl but I'm going to add I'm going to do two together oh I'm going to be brave Keeping it really pinched nice and tight. Perfect. I'm going to add journaling lines as well. So, it's just to make my bunting. Perfect. Could add all the other little bits we don't need and yeah I'm going to use my journaling pen because you can see I've done it on these and on the hearts only on the two white hearts I think it just makes them because everything's so blended it just makes it pop off the page a little bit and then what we'll do is, in a minute, I will kill them a little bit more. You could do as a ruler, I suppose, but there's no need to get all technical. It's a handmade card with love. makes it pop I think we've got two together there we might not need all six because this isn't as wide but I'll do them anyway I think we might get away with the uh, four or five of those it 
which I'm, normally when I put the camera on, it's the first thing I do is what, look out for the sound, but I just completely forgot to do it. I won't do the last one. I don't think we'll need that one, but I'll keep it to hand. And then I just went round the outside of this beautiful pale coloured love hearts just to make them pop as well. And one of them is supposed to look like a button, I think. I haven't done it on these ones, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna draw, and then I'm gonna sit my bowl right in the centre. Just looks so effective. Oh, let's do it on the big one. No, no, let's not. Yeah, go on, let's do it. <laughs> Get a stitched all round feel. Because that ad's got a stitched edge. That's where it gave me the idea to draw some stitches on. So, I'm going to need some dimensionals. I'm going to have, on this one, because it's going to overlap, it's going on this side. I'm just going to pop one on there. And then the small one's going to have one this side, because we'll overlap and glue. makes it pop off the page a little bit more as well I think so where we are ooh and then glue because that is going to rest on there and the same on this one they're just so cute Rest that on there. Do, 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 do. Now with my banners, I'm just gonna get a little curl. Don't have to do it too much, and I'm only adding glue at the top half. Just that much. And then I'm just gonna press them. down so you can see the linen thread what be is behind. I want to see that ridge. Let's go for a paler one next. Oops, let's curl it first. And again it's a silly sausage and you're just gonna overlap it a touch. For a darker one, kill. <clears throat> Press. Okay. Yeah, I think we might just four is plenty on this one. Perfect. We don't need those two, so they can go towards something else. Now, for my beautiful sentiment, I'm going to need a piece of cardstock, a black ink, and this 
says the world needs more of you. Perfect, and it's nice and straight. So that's all the stamping we're going to do. To clean my cloths, and then I've already cut my stripe out. So with this, I'm throwing it in upside down, but I'm just running that through the center as well. Perfect. Go back. And then this is going to get layered right on top. I know it's straight because we're lining it up with the actual punch itself so let's get that glued down I don't know why I put so much glue on let me show you look I've got a piece of, I've got a piece of dark card stuck here look. just so I can match that up perfect And then I can just squeeze that there and that gives me, it looks on the wonk but it's not, it's just the way my card is cut out. A couple more dimensionals for those. just get slid in right under there that is so cute now we need our bow maker and linen thread again so I'm going to do one large and then I'm going to drop down and do a tiny one I like to keep it attached that way I don't lose much So you don't get no waste there and then I can just open that out a little touch stop it from curling and then pinch and curl those little tails out perfect and then I can just glue that right on the end there So it literally takes seconds to go off tap off the excess and it's on how cute is that and then there's my beautiful little tails twisty little tails right drop this down one more can you add them and leave it We'll have to trim a little bit off the tails here because I'd never be able to loop it otherwise. Make sure it's in the middle and it pull it tight and then just gently lift that off. Oh my goodness, where have they gone? <laughs> there we go. And snip those tails a little bit shorter. That's the only bit of waste. Quite, quite frugal when it comes to me linen thread. And then this, again, just a little dot there. 
in the centre, it's supposed to be again, that's it. Pop on our little bow. And again, we can try and kill those as well. need nails really but mine have all broken there we go that's got a little curl on that oh my goodness it's so cute we haven't finished yet i'm gonna get some beautiful little gems and i'm gonna use the darker ones and i'm just gonna pop one there one there and i'm gonna have the other one right in the center of that pinwheel there we've done it with sound <laughs> so third time's a charm so i've made a standard version of it and we've also got the six by six version of it two of them and a standard version so i don't know whether you like the six by six better or you're not bothered you like them both i think they're so cute i just love them so i hope you give it a go i'd love a thumbs up and a share that'd be brilliant if you're new to my channel but enjoyed what you just saw please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell straight away that way you'll be notified every single day because i post every single day so come back and see what i make tomorrow thank you for watching till next time bye